Hi, this is Claire Anacosta. I'm going through the tongue twister. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled pepper. Did Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled pepper? If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled pepper, where's the pack of pickled pepper? Peter she Piper sells pick. seashell by the seashore. The shells she sell are surely seashells. So if the shell sells on the seashore, I'm sure the shell seashore sells. I thought, I thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought. I thought if the thought I thought had been the thought I thought. I wouldn't Hi, have this is Claire so Nakasa, and I'm going to read the throng of Thuringian thermometers. The throng of thermometers from the Thuringian thermometer folks arrived Thursday. There were a thousand thirty-three thick thermometers, though instead of a thousand thirty-six thin thermometers, which was three thermometers fewer than the thousand thirty-six we were expecting. Not to mention that they were thick ones rather than the thin ones. We thoroughly thought that we had ordered a thousand thirty-six not 1,033 thermometers. And as the Thuringian thermometer fox to ship the three thermometers rather than 1,036 and promised to replace the thick thermometers. A surly surgeon, a surly surgeon sacked an insolent sailor Sam, a surly surgeon from Cisco, Texas, saw a sailor sit silently on a small seat reserved for youngsters. He stayed for several minutes while well, that swarmed around. Sam asked the sailor to cease and desist, but he sneered in his face. Sam was so incensed that he considered it sufficient incentive to sack the sailor. The sailor stood there for a second, astonished, and then strolled away. Sam was perplexed but satisfied, and then the tad scampered like ants over the, the tan man. A fashionably tan man sat down at the bed stand, lashing a handful of practical pads. The monitor, a crabby old bag of bones, passed by and laughed. You're about average, Jack. Can't you lash faster than that? Jack had had enough, so he clambered to his feet and lashed pads faster than anyone had ever lashed bats. As a matter of fact, he lashed bats so fast that he seemed to dance. The manager was aghast. Jack, your master bat lasher, he caps. Satisfied at last, Jack sat back and never lashed a lot of bats. Had walks in the garden. John was not sorry when the boss called off the walks in the garden. Obviously to him, it was awfully hot and the walks were far too long. He had not thought that walking would have caught at the way it did, and he followed the policy from the onset. At first, he thought he could talk it over at the law office and have it squash. But a small obstacle halted the thought. The top lawyers act always bought coffee at the shop across the lawn and they didn't want to stop on John's account. John's problem was not office politics, but office policy. He resolved the problem by bombing the garden.